Hi everyone, I wanted to just make a quick little video on inter interval notation for you. Um, it was just brought to my attention that some of your homework problems ask for answers in this form. So you might have answers that right now on your paper that look like this. So I just wanna show you how quickly to change them to interval notation. All right, first of all, you wanna take and you wanna graph on your number line, like here's negative infinity and here's positive infinity. Five is maybe somewhere in here. Remember, if there's no equal sign, it's an open circle, and then greater than would be everything over here. In order to put this in interval notation, you just take and pull these two numbers right here down and put a comma between them. Okay, now, if it's an open circle, you're gonna use a parenthesis, but if it's a closed circle, you're gonna use a bracket, and I'll show you that on this problem here. But infinity always has a parenthesis. So this here is how they're expecting you to put your answer. Though it does say in IMATH as that if you don't know where to find an infinity, just put two zeros next to each other and they'll take that as infinity. Okay, so now let's show you one that has an equal sign. Here's five, here's infinity, here's negative infinity. Since there's an equal sign with this one, we put a solid dot. Whenever you have a solid dot, you're still pulling the numbers down here, just like we said before, with a comma between them. Whoops, it's not eight, it's infinity. And infinity always gets a parenthesis, but when it's solid, you use a bracket that looks like this. These brackets on your keyboard are just to the right of the letter P. Okay, they're over above your enter, below your backspace, you know, they're, they're over to the right side of your computer so you can find these. Whereas the parentheses like this one here is found with your zero and the left one is found with your nine. Okay, so let's try just a couple more here. This one here, if I have my number line, here's negative infinity and positive infinity. It's smart to start with those even if you don't end up needing them. Then here is one and here is seven, and it's a closed circle on both of these. It's everything in the middle. So that means you just pull those two numbers down, one comma seven. They're both filled in, so we use brackets on either side. Okay, now what about this one here that has two parts to the answer? So here's one. It's everything less than or equal to one. Here's nine, it's everything greater than nine, so it's an open circle there. I have also included my negative infinity and positive infinity. And since this section has these two numbers, I pull those down, negative infinity to one. It's including the one though. Remember the infinity always gets a parenthesis. And then over here, I pull these two numbers down, nine to infinity but this is an open circle, so I'm gonna use a parenthesis. And then they probably ask you to use a U in the middle for union, okay? And there's a symbol right there. All right, so I think that should do it for all of the questions that you might ask on this particular um, interval notation. So hopefully that helps, and if not, send me an email and let me know. Have a great night, everybody.